What's up guys, Adam from Thoughts in Motion here and today I'm going to be a little bit morbid and I'm going to explain to you why you should be very very fearful of your future and I'm pretty much going to put the fear of God in you. So let's get into it. Okay, so one thing I want to get out there straight away is a reality check, okay? I want to make sure that you are aware that not everybody wins. Not everybody wins in this game of life. Not everyone becomes successful, not everyone becomes happy. And unfortunately, that's just the truth of life. It could be you, it might not be you. It could be a friend, it might not be a friend. But either way, you have to be aware that not everybody wins this game of life. And the reason I say this is because what I hear about all the time is I hear complaints. I hear complaints about, you know, I'm not in the right job. My career's not going anywhere. This person treats me like shit. I've been doing this for three years and nothing's come up for it yet. I hear this all the time, but the one thing I don't see is people taking action to fix it. And this is what I want to talk about today is you have to take the action to fix it. You might not win, but you might. This is what I'm saying. Like everyone's like, someone came to me recently and they were like, you know, I just feel like my life's not going anywhere. I'm like, okay, well, what are you doing? And all I hear is, well, I'm trying this, I'm trying this and it's like, yeah, but are you really trying or are you just half in it, half in it rather, in the hopes that it is going to work? And probably not, you probably are half in it. So one thing I want to mention as well is that a lot of people say, you know what, I'm just going to complain about it, but I'm not going to take action because right now I just don't have time. So for example, I'm going to be really brutal here. I'm going to say that I'm going to take a fat person, for example. You know, they always say, you know, I'm fat, like, I just can't stop eating, like, it's my, just my job, like, I don't have time to do it, I don't have time to go to the gym, I don't have time to exercise, I don't have time to prep meals or whatever, it's bullshit. You will make time for whatever is most important in your life. If reading a book every day is important to you, you will make time. If being with loved ones is important, you will make the time. So it's not that you don't have time to lose this weight, it's that you're just fucking lazy. And you, you'll see it all the time, people complain, oh, I need to lose weight, oh, I need to gain weight, oh, I need to get more muscle, oh, I feel this, I feel that. And it's like, well, are you taking the responsibility to get there? Are you taking it on board? No one's gonna come along and help you. Like, no one's gonna say to me, oh, Adam, I'm gonna pay for your, you know, your tuition, I'm gonna do this. They're not gonna do it for me. You have to take that responsibility. Don't complain about how the world should be. You need to adjust to how the world actually is. So a personal example for me was, you know, I was hating my job. I felt really down in the dumps. I was working six days a week and I didn't enjoy what I was doing. So what I did was, instead of just complaining to all my friends, because they were doing the exact same things, they were saying, oh, I'm a, I don't like my job, I hate this, blah, blah, blah. And instead of joining that little bitch cycle, I said, you know what, I'm gonna start looking for other shit. So I went out, I messaged everyone that I could, I was looking for other jobs, I was looking for anything that could get me in a position where I would feel good and that I was actually achieving something with my life. And what happened was, I got talking to this guy called Luca, who, if you remember a few weeks back, I did a video with him in Helsinki. And after a few phone interviews, you know, and making a few things for him and, you know, showing that I was dedicated and that I really wanted it, he was like, dude, I want you to come with me and I want you to meet me in Helsinki, you're my new assistant. And I was like, holy shit. So I got to travel to Helsinki for, a, I lived there for a month. It wasn't glamorous, but it was an amazing experience. And that was just because I went looking. And I can't complain now that I'm his assistant. I can't complain because I get to travel the world doing amazing shit. So just because I took that action to sort of get out of the shit, shit stain that I was in, you should too, because you never know what's gonna happen. And a lot of people are probably gonna hate on me for this video, but you know what, the truth fucking hurts, but it also sets you free. If you decide to admit to yourself that, you know what, I'm actually lost, I don't know what I'm doing, that's when you can start you know, moving forward again. You have to take a step back to take two steps forward in this case. So, you know, most people live as the effect rather than the cause of their life. They think, oh, I'm not successful or I'm not in a better position because of this person or because of this person. But really, that's just a lack of taking personal responsibility. It's a sign that says, you know, I'm not, you know, I'm not responsible enough for my own life. I'm not individual enough. I have to blame someone else for the shit problems that I have right now. And this is just not cool. It's not like growing up. It's not, you know, fancy. It's just shit. You need to stop complaining. But this person said this about me. Or this person said that I can't be this. Bullshit. You need to take that responsibility and say to yourself, you know what? If I want to be somewhere, I'm going to put myself there. I'm going to do everything I can, regardless of what everyone else is saying. I'm going to do this because I realize that, you know, I've been bitching for three years about something and I've wasted those three years being stuck in that same position. I haven't taken those three years to you know, expand my mind, to open myself up to new experiences. I haven't done anything in those three years. And if that's you, sucks to be you, man, but at least now you realize it. 
and the mainstream advice is, you know, things happen on their own. Things will come to you. You know, you just got to want it, believe in yourself, and it's not enough to believe in yourself. You have to, you know, put the hard work in, make the effort. It's not enough anymore just to believe and, you know, think that everything's going to fall on your lap. Like I said, everybody doesn't win. And as soon as you wake up to that, that's when you realize that you can actually, you know, it, it puts some fear in you because you fear for your future. You fear, you know, the years are going by faster than you want them to and you're not getting anywhere. If that's you, stop now and realize that you've lost. Like sit there and admit that you're lost and you might not know where you're going. But that's the start for you. This is where you say, you know what? I'm gonna be somewhere in five years. It's either gonna be awesome because I make it awesome or it's gonna be shit because I left it and it became shit. So what I want from you for this video is I wanna put the fear in you. I wanna put the fear in you that says, you know what, shit, I'm not doing anything right now. I'm not challenging myself. I'm not pushing through my own boundaries. I'm not challenging, you know, what I think I know already. I'm just staying in my little comfort bubble. I want you to get out there and explore the world because you can either be a winner or you can be the person that never discovered how to win and just shoved all the talent to one side. Okay, that's it for me this week. Now, I want you to go away and do something cool, but I also want you to subscribe to our YouTube channel down below and follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Thoughts in Motion UK. Also, check out the latest video from George and Carl, and I will see you in next week's video. Peace.